No, you can use the cord. Yeah, I think you're good to go there. Yeah. You got some sandpaper, little bean sacks. <laughs> White ish. Okay, can you hold that for me? I'm going to toenail that into the tire ish. Usually I got like a driver in there. You can hold this. The form work is to hold the concrete when we pour it, because concrete is liquidy, and it needs something solid to hold it in. And we'll strip this wood after we're done, and we'll use it in other applications of the building. We're using 2x10. This is 2x10. We're not going to fill it all the way up, because that's a little too much uh, concrete. We don't need it that deep. We're going to fill it up to about seven and a half inches. Um, but I didn't want to cut the wood down because once we the concrete cures, we can strip this formwork and use the full two by ten pieces of lumber still. So this what stuff. we have here is our formwork for a concrete bond beam on top of the tires. Uh, we're gonna we've used two pieces of half inch rebar that are set in the, the beam near the bottom. We're using pins of rebar in the tires to hold up our lateral rebar about an inch and a half to two inches above the bottom, uh, above the tire. And that's continuous through the whole bond beam. We have our, this is the elevation of the greenhouse that we're building. We have one window which will set in this location of the bond beam. Then we have a step down where the door is going to be into the greenhouse here where we've salvaged the door which we're going to use. And then we have a continuation of the bond beam on the other side where it steps up. And we're going to put in two more window units. And the window units were uh, donated from a building salvage place locally. This is going to accommodate concrete bonding. We're going to have anchor bolts, which are a threaded rod, which will set in the concrete when it's wet. That we can bolt down a wood plate that we can frame up off of. Is concrete, because we're going to fill our formwork up for our bonding for our front greenhouse. And so concrete ingredients are cement, sand, and aggregate, which is gravel. In this case, what we can get locally is pea gravel, which is okay, but not ideal. So our ratios in this small little electric mixer, what we're going to do you guys try to remember this is the, remember just remember the numbers three four five okay which means when I, when I say three four five those are volumetric ratios so if we were to take three shovelfuls of cement and put it in the mixer we would take four shovelfuls of sand and put it in the mixer and we would take five shovelfuls of aggregate and put it in the mixer but we're going to double those numbers. So it would be 6, 8, 10. So we're going to use 6 shovelfuls of cement, 8 sand, 10 aggregate. I started with half a bucket of water. Now I'm going to put in... Now I have a bucket of gravel, <laughs> which equals about 6 shovelfuls. And Jenny, my fine assistant over here, is going to put four to five on the I'm going to put in half the sand. We need eight sand total. I'm going to put four in. My fine assistant, Dan, is going to start putting in the cement. How many shovel holes do you want? Lost count, but okay. that's great.
Don't breathe that. <laughs> I'm gonna add the rest of the gravel. And the rest of the sand. And some grass. Hey, that's a good mix. We're gonna let it mix up for a little bit.